So uh, my name is Fraser Bitu. I'm from Nelson Mandela University. I'm also part of the Zonatalia Wange Research Station. Uh, I'm going to present on uh, nurturing a culture of respect from a Nambia perspective. So I'll start off here just to continue and link with what uh, Alex was saying. Uh, I'm a part of the Zonatalia Wange Research Station, which is a long-term socio-ecological research station based here in Jete. Uh, it houses CNRI, CIRAD, IRD, the three French uh, research institutions, uh, and it also falls under the research platform, Production and Conservation in Partnership, uh, where we have uh, universities and research institutions from France, Zimbabwe, Zambia, South Africa, Mozambique, uh, and the Botswana. This research institution carries out uh, research projects as well as a few development projects in this area. Uh, when uh, we look around globally, we have uh, challenges on pollution, climate change, infectious diseases. All these are both new and old, but we have indigenous communities who have got the knowledge uh, that they use, that they have learned over multiple generations to transmit this knowledge orally. With this in mind, we had this project called Prosuni, where it took an anticipatory governance analysis process. It was a multi-stakeholder participatory approach, engaging different stakeholders around this uh, community, around this uh, Wange Social Ecological Research Station, to try and understand and connect with different uh, spheres of these communities, specifically the marginalized communities, which include the Nambia community. I, I took uh, that map just to show that these people are close to the Wange National Park, just around the Wange National Park. Actually, these people were moved out when the Wange National Park was formed. Most of them are just by the uh, peripheries of the park. When it was formed, some of them were pushed out and some went as far as Botswana and others to the other side, to Zambia. But uh, from the Prosuli approach now, we uh, had uh, a question like, what can we do today in order to promote uh, a better future? So many uh, things came up. We had representatives from government ministries, uh, local NGOs, private organizations, uh, representatives from the local community, uh, just to make sure that we have got a good coverage of different uh, stakeholders of this environment. And in trying to answer that question, uh, there were issues to do with the installation of uh, solar pumps, fixing bowls, creation of dams, uh, capacity building uh, on nature-based solutions, skills training, uh, trying to improve as well uh, the economic situations through community-based tourism and small ruminants projects. But all these are classic uh, NGO interventions. But in that, communities here to say, we can do all these things to better the future. But if we don't nature a culture of respect, all these activities cannot be sustainable. So there is a need to really understand uh, what's nurturing a culture of respect. We try to unpack this uh, through engagement at different levels, holding workshops, doing interviews with the locals, going down to the leaders, the traditional leaders, as well as people understand the context of the area. Uh, he had colleagues whom I uh, worked with again after a call by the Intergovernmental Platform of Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, and that call wanted us to contribute on indigenous knowledge. We worked with uh, uh, colleagues, even from the research station, and submitted that document uh, on nurturing a culture of respect. Some of the information I'll just present uh, from our uh, presentation in this paper. Uh, what is nurturing a culture of respect? From uh, all the gatherings, it is finding means to protect, care for, nourish, develop and support social behaviors, rules, norms, beliefs, habits, and attitudes, as well as knowledge and perceptions that can ensure maximum uh, and moral consideration and respect for the biosphere from all. This uh, came from the, from, from the Nambia, who are the majority ethnic group around this area. So the, uh, the, the Nambia people uh, in Wange district claim direct ancestral links with the dry stone walled buildings uh, or structures that are found around the national park, especially uh, uh, in areas like Mtoa, Shangano, and Chakona. So we, 
got most of the information from them. Then we realized that uh, in the Nambia we have got ta taboos, proverbs, stories, poetry, music, and dance, as well as games. All these they build up uh, to teach love, respect, retribution, and also anything to do with uh, health, among other attributes that encourage Bunu or humanity when relating to living and non living entities. When we speak about re respect, it's about, uh, uh, it starts with self identity, then appreciation of the phenomenon under study. There is knowledge in terms of specific animals to kill, for example, young uh, male mature bulls and not females. Big game was hunted through village pursuits, but uh, we realized that uh, through the African traditional religious beliefs, the Nambias believe too much in the spirit gods, which they call Mijimu. So whenever they do whatever they do in relation to nature, they have to consult Mijimu, who will give them directions on how to do all these things. The uh, sacred places were protect, which were protected for, uh, from human interference, and those places, they had uh, flourishing vegetation and had improved uh, habitats for animals. Some of these sites are beyond uh, the reach of any ordinary person unless there is uh, someone accompanying who will be having those uh, spirits which they call Mijim. So to get respect from nature, the cycle is you also have to give that respect. So that's how the Nambia community uh, relates uh, with uh, nature. But we have a challenge now with this indigenous knowledge system in that it is eroding, although useful at this time, uh, if it can be activated, where it is threatened by a number of factors such as technology, globalization, uh, modernization, religion, and other forms of communication from other parts of the civilized world. So through colon uh, colonization, Africans were dislocated uh, f w from appreciating their culture, especially by missionaries and colonial socialism agents, and they tended to be disbanded from their culture. I want to stress that the Nambia people understand that human impacts influence biodiversity, and they still have means to protect behaviors, beliefs, and customs that have respect for, for the biosphere. We we really need to understand the individual values as they connect to the whole system uh, in a socio-ecological uh, system in terms of how they see the land, how they see the, 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 the resources they use around, and even the food to keep them healthy. They are supporting studies again that we have been doing through the Wange socio-ecological uh, socio -ecological research station, but the richness of the values and beliefs associated with wildlife and combined high connections with and with a different understanding of nature greatly contribute to the resilience of this Wange socio-ecological system. Studies included uh, uh, involve uh, understanding of disease control and management, climate change monitoring and adaptations uh, that linked to indigenous knowledge system of the uh, surrounding people. Key insights that I want to bring to your attention this morning is that there is not only one way of best life and one way of solution to most problems. We may be f facing a number of problems, but it's, it's important to remember that each society has created great technology and science. For example, this community that we have been uh, speaking about, the Nambia community, they have lived with the wildlife for quite a long time. As I said, that they were moved out of the uh, now called Wange National Park. It is also important to note that we have to keep our minds reflective, open, and also try to build a new era. And this new era now, we have interconnected problems which have opened our eyes to work in an intersectional way and also in an interconnected way with uh, knowledges. We need to use all resources that we have, and indigenous knowledge is one of the uh, resources to create a better health system and a better world for everyone, not only for humans, but also for plants and animals around us. Let us also remember that uh, indigenous people inhabit about 20% of the planet, but 80% of this uh, uh, biodiversity that we have under the planet is in their lands, 
It is in the lands of the indigenous communities. So something is happening within their territories that we really need to understand and also put into our ideas. With this, I would like to give special thanks to the organizers for inviting us to have a voice for this. Uh, researchers from the Zonatali Awange Research Team, Nambia Cultural Association, Nambia Development Organization, and the Wange family as a whole for their contributions. And thank you for your attention and listening to this uh, presentation. Have a good day.